Price, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Wow. Vincent Price? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he was just at that age where he's like, What was yeah, it whatever. like? Uh, I, could, I could proudly say that I have an autographed picture of Vincent Price from the House of Wax. Do you cool. really? That's pretty yes, cool. Yes, indeed. It's a, it's a, one of those the shots that they had outside the theater from the movie House of Wax, and it's, it's autographed by Vincent himself. Wow. I, I, nice. I, I give Vincent God status. I don't do that with all oh, celebrities, I, but he's, he's God status. Wow. Oh, oh, yes. God, he was brilliant, man. I used to love... Uh, I mean, he was typecast, but yeah. how could you not typecast that? I... I used to love uh, uh, Bill Hader's uh, the uh, the Vincent Price show that he used to do on yeah, Saturday Night Live yeah, yeah. in black and white. God, uh, speaking of SNL, I was watching that fucking Kristen Wiig skit where it's, it's the uh, it's a Lawrence Welk show, and she's got that forehead and she's got the baby arms. Oh, or she's like the freaking inbred. She's like that inbred girl or whatever the hell she yeah. is. <laughs> That thing kills me, man. <laughs> Lawrence Welk, that's right, with the balloon, or the, the, bubbles. the bubbles and shit, yeah. <laughs> Fred Armisen was a pretty, uh, I think, maybe underrated cast member. He, he's actually pretty funny. Yeah, he was good. He was very good on that show. I liked his prince. Oh, God, his prince was great. Yeah. He was outstanding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I liked his Ahmed Ahmadinejad. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Uh, oh, what's his name? Had done a uh, uh, All right, we're back up. a digital short with a love song to Ahmed Ahmadinejad. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that was hilarious. We we left off with with Gremlins. We just started talking yeah, about yeah. Gremlins. So should, yeah. should we go My back to that? Cut off for, I'm sorry if you were actually watching, which I don't uh, know. Gremlins. <laughs> Anybody but my computer is watching. But That's never what you want to say as a host. <laughs> if you're sorry actually watching, everything's back up. Today, so. <laughs> yeah. That's the last thing a host you, ever wants to say. You guys, <laughs> you guys were talking effects uh, of Gremlins. Okay, what what bothered you the most about the effects now, Mike? Well, um, the fact that uh, basically there were so many times where all they did was had a stuffed gremlin on a moving platter, like like on a record player or something like that. The only effect that stands the test of time to me is when the one blew up inside the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was so nasty, yeah. <laughs> That it's a it's a kids movie. <laughs> yeah. And it's the eighties too, so you gotta think there wasn't so much PETA back then. I wonder you you gotta think yeah. it, oh, it was yeah. like an answer she, something for the effect. You know she, you gotta She freaking yeah. uh she had one one was in a mixer too. Yeah. One yeah, was yeah, eating that's out of right. the mixer. She turned the mixer on, the yeah. fucking thing's guts right. went all over the kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> did, they, did they rip up a movie theater? Is that in Gremlins? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. They're watching Snow White. Yeah. They're yeah. watching Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, they have that where they're in a bar. Yeah, I remember Phoebe, that. Okay, Phoebe I remember Cates, that. Phoebe Cates is bartending. Gosh, yeah, they're all getting so drunk. Hot. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> all right, I'm going to bring up a movie that I think will hold up forever. E.T. To me. E.T.? Yeah. I, I mean, there are things yeah. you could say, maybe they could have done this better, that better, but now, but then they did all they could, and it's yeah. Spielberg, and it's just, the story's amazing, everything about it is incredible. First movie yeah, I ever saw in the theater. Up. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Your kids did not like it? Oh, my kids love it. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know that I've ever met anyone who's like, ah, I hate E.T. Yeah, I think they kind of they, oh. they they ruined it in later years, not even that long ago. Where I don't know because there's the family friendly type of movies where they take all of the bad scenes out of movies. They took the guns out. Yeah, they removed the guns from ET. They digitally put walkie talkies in the yeah, yeah. in the cops' what? hands instead yeah. of guns, like the scene what? where they take off into the air. Are you serious? And yeah. the cops had that roadblock. They they digitally took out the guns out of the cops' hands and put walkie-talkies. Really? Yeah. Yeah. 
I, oh, I totally news to me, man. They they didn't they didn't want it implied that the police <laughs> might shoot the kids. It's like they don't shoot the damn kids. What difference does it make? Coming to uh, America holds up. Oh, that movie uh, awesome. Coming to America. It's great. I think that holds up too. <laughs> yeah. My kids saw that recently and just I cracked think up. So oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. That Mike Tyson looked like a little bulldog. Yeah. That that's a funny movie. Oh, they're they're talking. Talking about boxing, boxing? Yeah. yeah. Jack Dempsey, yeah. There's Eddie Murphy doing that Jewish guy, the old Jewish guy. That's awesome. <laughs> what, about, what about what about Rocky Marciano? Yeah. <laughs> every every time, here we go. Like every time I bring up boxing, some white guy got to throw Rocky Marciano in my face. <laughs> yeah, that that movie holds up. That movie definitely holds up. Probably better even than some of the Beverly Hills Cops. I, oh yeah, you know what? I, I, coming to America. I wish somebody else would have been in that movie with Eddie Murphy than besides Arsenio? Arsenio Hall. You don't like Arsenio Hall? Arsenio Hall, Hall bugs the hell out of he me. He bugs a lot of people. I liked him. I loved his show. He was good in that. I movie. never thought that movie like, was funny. I like Arsenio better, but no, I like. <laughs> <laughs> he does <laughs> <doing Jeez>. stuff. <laughs> Tom Kite is in my house. I love Keenan Ivory Wayne's playing Arsenio Hall <laughs> with yeah. the long yeah. finger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. me and Eddie. Yeah, me and Eddie with magic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like. Yeah, I, I liked Arsenio. Mike, did you, did you but know? I still like the movie though. Mike, you got an man. opinion on uh, Arsenio? Uh, to, to me, Arsenio was there just to make Eddie look better. I agree. It's, it's like <laughs> it's. It's like women Hillary. going out with an ugly girl, so they look better. <laughs> Andy, what about you? I don't know. Arsenio Hall. I think Coming to America is about the only thing I like him in. Why do I like him? I don't know why I like the guy. I don't know. I think because I, I loved his show. I don't necessarily against him. You know, but I didn't. I never really watched his talk show at all. See, I, I couldn't name really anything else that he was in. Off the top of my head, other than being like, didn't you like stand up or some stuff oh, yeah. like that? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. how yeah. Murphy, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I got one for you. <laughs> this is a movie that it, it does hold up because it's fantasy stuff. But I don't need to see, nor have I ever had the desire to see David Bowie's package so completely oh, in my face as in elaborate. elaborate. Yeah. I mean, who the fuck? How did someone not say, okay, that's too much cock. Let's go in. <laughs> it's like a kid's movie. Yeah, go get, it's a, yeah, it's a kid's movie. Yeah. I don't think the Let's Muppets have the felt God well. <laughs> <laughs> The Muppets? Not in, that, in that movie, I don't think the, the Muppets held up well in that movie. Oh, the effects? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I think they did. Uh, 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 Henson Studios did a fantastic job with some of them. Well, yeah, uh, the at the big, time, at the time, huh? at the time, but in later years as you watch it, I don't think it really, I don't think it fits. It's been so long since it's, I've yeah, seen I, that. Those, those Muppety characters are, are similar to the ones in Never Ending Story, and I gotta tell you, I wanted that kid yes. dead. Oh, never ending story yeah, with I the, wanted someone to bring a dog or whatever the yeah, hell that I thing was. Yeah, I hated that kid. He had that chilly gold fucking Mo Howard haircut. He was always whining about <laughs> shit. He had the big <laughs> ass nostrils. I like, wanted that kid dead. He had, the, he had one of those bowl haircuts. Yes. Like, like he is a mom. Oh, yeah. And I remember being like 11 or 12 and telling my brother, God, I, well, I wish that kid would die. You know, I like just you, wanted him gone. You wish he would have sunk instead of the yes. horse. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> Other than that, though, cool movie. Yeah. <laughs> now, there's one that the majority of the movie has stood the test of time, but there's the just the scenes with Fred Savage in The Princess Bride. Oh, yeah. okay. Now, The, the Princess okay. Bride as a whole ha can stand the test of time. It's fantastic. Uh, but man, those scenes with Peter Falk and Fred Savage are so dated. Oh. Watching him play that Atari baseball. I've actually never seen that movie. That's wow. well because they're It's my soon to be ex wife's what? favorite movie of all time, but I have actually never seen it. People love that movie. Is though. it is that it is my favorite movie of all time. What's it's a lot Falk? of people's. 
uh, it was Falk like his grandpa or something yeah. like that? Yeah. And he's telling yep. him the story of the Princess Bride, right? Exactly. Yeah, I didn't know Fred Savage was in it. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Huh. Uh, it, that's where Fred Savage got his start. That was before he did uh, The Wonder Years. Was Mandy Pantankin in that? He was yep. in that, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Andre the Hello. Giant. Yeah. My name is Geneva Montoya. And, you and, killed and, my father, prepare to die. It's right. <laughs> and then there was Carrie, nobody can pronounce his last name, but he's a good-looking guy who was in Salt. El, Elways, is sure. it? Sure. Is it? Yeah, Elwes. Yeah. El what, El what is it? Yep. What is it, man? Uh, Elwes. 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 Okay. Yeah. The only reason I, I know how to pronounce his name right is because they had, uh, on Family Guy one time, they had Peter Griffin calling him up. Like, hey, is this Carrie Elways? Like, you, you were famous once. Remember that? <laughs> it's like you were in Princess Bride. You remember? <laughs> you remember? You were an actor once. <laughs> well, yeah, he's got one of those names that just by its spelling you can't tell what the fuck. No, it is. no. it's like when Ben Stiller. It's like when Ben Stiller calls Brett Favre. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I called him Favre before Green Bay. Traded for him years Some ago. Big amount, Barry. Favre. <laughs> <laughs> well, another movie that I kind of had on my my short list, and I don't know how well it stands up. I haven't really seen it for a really, really long time. But the movie Flatliners. I remember, I remember that. that God, movie. I love that movie, man. I remember loving it at the time when I did see it, but I haven't really. So I couldn't say it either way, but it's something that came to mind because it had Kiefer Sutherland was in it. Um, Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Uh, Alec Oliver Baldwin. Platt. Yep. Billy Baldwin. Yep. Um, oh, Oliver Platt. Platt. My God, you're right. He was in that. Kevin Bacon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, you know what? I haven't seen it either in a long time, but I would have to say that would stand up. I loved the shit out of that movie. Yeah. I thought it was. I, probably, I saw it multiple times. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I loved the. Uh, <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't have mentioned. Well, the the dream, the, <laughs> the, the sequ <laughs> Well, the, you know, the sequences sequences where where uh, Julia Roberts would go back and and she was clinically dead and, and her father had Julia suicide. Roberts, Remember, he had been in the war or something, and he was on drugs, and she saw him injecting him, so he went out and shot himself in the truck, and there's a lot of disturbing scenes. Yeah. Kevin Bacon used to bully this kid, and the kid ends up kicking the shit out of him. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Flatliners. Yeah. Wow. That's and a good movie. And then another one that I thought, in a train of thought from that, was Jacob's Ladder. That's a cool movie, too. That, Jim was, a up, that was a messed up that's, movie. That's the 80s? Oh, yeah. The, yeah, I believe so. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Tim Robbins. Yeah, that's that's good That's stuff. like 88, 87, yeah. somewhere around yeah. there, I think. That's a cool movie. Dark. That's a cool yeah. movie. You know, I think I was I was thinking about Platoon earlier, and I think war movies in general, as long as you depict that time period well, it's going to hold up. Platoon holds up. Full Metal Jacket holds up. To me, those movies will always, as long as you depict it correctly at the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The only thing about Platoon now is that it it is kind of Hollywoody. It is. It is a little bit, yeah. yeah. With the yeah. characters and all that. It is very hot. Tom, Tom Berger's character is, but is over the top. Listen, what's his, uh, Charlie what's Sheen? His, no, the... Uh, oh, God. Willem Alex, Dafoe? Alex from Family Ties. God. Oh, that was Casualties of War. That, oh, okay. Oh, okay. That Sean, no. Was Sean Penn in that? What do we do, Sarge? What do we do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sean, Sean Penn, Penn was, was in, in that, that too. Yeah. 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 I think they've got that at Family Video, actually. Okay. Because I, I was just shot one. Because I was just shocked it was there. Born on the Fourth, that holds up. <laughs> I, I think all, a lot of those movies hold up. But like I said, unless God, you just do it wrong. Dude, that that scene in Platoon, where what was that massacre um, that happened in real life? Oh, where they God. massacred that, that village. Family, yeah, that was. That scene is just so is yeah. still so disturbing. It's yeah. today. Really, it's unsettling to yeah. watch. Yeah, yeah, it really is. You're right, though. Some of the characters, like especially Tom Berenger's, you know. Mean guy, soldier, the, the colonel, or whatever yeah, it was. That yeah. one's a little over the top, but still entertaining. Oh, the movie's entertaining yeah. as and, hell. And, and Full Metal Jacket with Ar Arlie Ermey's <laughs> mo monologue thing yeah. at the beginning of that is as priceless as it gets. Yeah. I, yep. That so that dialogue of his. It's amazing. I, I had to stop the movie yeah. multiple times. Oh, me too. Because I was laughing. Yeah. 
too hard <laughs> to concentrate on yeah. what the hell he was saying next. I watched it over and over and over. It was so amazing. I'll rip your eyeballs out of your head and skull, skull fuck, fuck you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gay, brother? Do you suck dick? I bet you can suck a golf ball out of a garden hose. <laughs> Well, holy dog shit, son. <laughs> Texas. Stairs and queers going for Texas. <laughs> God damn it, I bet you could get it up the ass and not even have the common decency to get the reach around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my I mean, God. That thing is mind-blowing. He ad-libbed yeah, the shit, too. I know it. Ermy. Yes. He, he ad-libbed yeah, the sure whole shit. Because he's a former Marine. Yeah. He was a Marine. And that's God almighty. Oh. That was mind That will hold up forever. Private pile, you climb my obstacles like old people fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Move your ass. <laughs> God, and then that scene where he kills, where he just goes bananas. Oh, we're Did wild. mommy and daddy not give you enough attention? And then, boom. Yeah, what is your major malfunction, <laughs> numbness? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, uh, uh, D'Onofrio's got a rifle right in his chest. <laughs> yeah. Well, weight fluctuator. Oh, that scene was so intense. The, yeah. The music. Yeah. yeah this dude. is my rival. This uh, is my gun. Who was that actor? Who was oh. that actor? Why can't I think of his name? D'Onofrio or? No, 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 no. Matthew Modine. Matthew Modine. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Joker. Pri yeah. Private Joker. Yeah, Private Joker. Hell, I like you. He calls a black guy Snowball. Snowball. <laughs> You know, walk around holding their nuts at that one scene. Yeah. You know that? Yeah, this is my rifle. This is my gun. This is for killing. This is for fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's... Uh, I, I admire your honesty. Yeah. Hell, I like you. Yeah. You can come over to my house and fuck my sister. <laughs> and then he punches him in the fucking Punches him with a gun. Yeah, really hard. <laughs> God. I got your ass. Yeah, that's right. Because when he goes, is that you, John Wayne? Man, no. he, I mean, he is livid. Who said Who that? that? Who the fuck said that? <laughs> Who's the slimy little cocksucker who just signed his own name oh, for Oh, God, he explodes, <laughs> man. Is that you, John Wayne? The very fucking godmother said <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Is that me? What's funny is that I remember the whole movie, but it but it's hit and miss, and I really have to think about the rest of it. The rest of it's kind of is I when I think of the mo that movie, the Full Metal Full, uh, Full Metal Jacket, I think of it in two parts. It's definitely yeah, there's the definitely there's shit. two parts of that movie where the the first part of it is like the most memorable, most entertaining kind of thing. But when the second part's when they're actually they're in, the in, field, in combat, yeah, the that, sniper. it just kind of. And then it just kind of blends oh, into a whole lot of other. I think so other, too. I think so know, too. Oh, you got, you got, hey baby, you oh, got, yeah, yeah, you yeah, got yeah. girlfriend. <laughs> oh God, me so horny, me so horny. Yeah. That's where that came from. Two yeah. live crew. Yeah, two yeah. live crew took yeah. that out of Full Metal yeah. Jacket. Me love you long time. Me love you long time. Me love you long time. Oh, yeah. so horny. <laughs> the big, the, the big dude from The Bodyguard was in that. Really? Yeah. Can't think of that guy's name. No, it's been so but long since yeah, I've seen one of those seen movies. It. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of two movies in one. Though. Yeah, it is. It is. Like two parts. Yeah. Overall, good though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I actually, I actually heard that crap out of the two live crew song before I ever saw Full Metal Jacket. So when I heard that dialogue in the movie, I was like, "Whoa, two live crew." <laughs> Jesus Christ! I just saw one here. I've got to bring up, man. We're, we're, I, I just got to say one thing. Sure. Uh, uh, him saying, "Oh, two live crew." That uh, I used to work with this guy named John, and uh, I had brought my my boom box in to the old folks' home <laughs> where we were washing dishes. Oh no! And uh, I'm playing the White Album, and Helter Skelter comes on, and dude looks at me and goes, "Dude, I didn't know the Beatles covered Motley Crue." <laughs> oh my god. Really? Wow. <laughs> oh dude, my they're, god. Dude, they're ripping off Motley Crue. <laughs> this Neil's gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> what the fuck? We could be so lucky, but <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> Alright, 
I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring one more up. I don't know how close we are to closing this out, but weird science. There's a dated one. That's dated. That, dated. that, that screams dated. The computer that they had and yeah. everything is just ridiculous. Yeah. I, th I think that's along the same lines as war games. You the, can almost look at the, the poster for the movie and say, nah, that's not going to hold up even past five years. They meet, they create and meet, and they create Kelly LeBrock. Yes. With their yep. computer. Yes. Who was married to Steve Seagull. Sure. <laughs> and why haven't we touched on Steven Seagal? Because they're all bad. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't <laughs> People were laughing at those movies, I think, back when they came out. They were. They totally were. He's still they doing them. Up the theater. He's still doing those movies. I know. I think he thinks of himself along the same lines as Arnold and Sly Stallone. I'm and, badass. Right. I think he thinks of himself in the same way, but he's not. Because I'm, a, the, I'm a bad dude. Because the charisma factor is not there. God, no. It's like, it's, it's like whenever they cast fucking Dolph Lundgren in the Kindergarten Cop 2. You, can, you can't, you can't make, replace Arnold. You can't replace Arnold has charisma, and, there, yeah. and, and so does The Rock. People like that can do roles like that. Not Dolph Lundgren. And, and yeah. Steven Seagal, there's, there's as, no, there's as not much a personality. Of a, as much of a doof as Arnold is, yeah, he does have charisma. He does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he totally does. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going up on two hours, hour and Ooh, forty yeah. minutes. So, yeah, it's time. I think it's time to wrap it up. Um, thanks for joining us this time. Um, and I just want to make mention to the fact that on Facebook. We now have 201 followers, which I think is pretty awesome. All family members? <laughs> not, not, not necessarily. There are some people that I have no idea. Who yeah, I know. Me too. Me too. So, so thank you very much for following us on Facebook. Um, make sure you subscribe to us, our channel, those 80s Kids Remember channel on YouTube. Um, just hit the subscribe channel. We'd love it if you give us a thumbs up for our videos. That would be too awesome. Um, hopefully be, be rad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally rad. definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Radical. And, um, so hopefully again in two weeks, we'll be back here with an all new topic. Talking it the way we do. Um, absolutely. Yep. Again, subscribe YouTube, um, share our Facebook page, please. More likes, the better. I love that we are where we are now, but even more would be even better. So, um, thanks again for joining us this time. I'm Andy. I'm Brian. Greg. Mike. See ya. <clears throat> there was, speaking of the Terminator.